equation. In the previous chapter, we looked at counting atoms. Counting atoms, the lesson on counting atoms is very important when it comes to balancing equations. We think of the word balancing, and it means to pr pretty much keep the same amount on both sides of a, some kind of a scale. Okay, And that will be our equation. And we're going to look at that in just a second. So we've seen the following. We know that how do you make water? Well, if you combine hydrogen and oxygen, we'll make water. Okay, so let's write out a chemical formula for the following. So hydrogen we know is H, we know oxygen is O, and we know water is H2O. So H plus O produces H2O, right? Wrong. One thing to keep in mind is that when you see the word hydrogen, and we're thinking of it in terms of um, a molecule, and the same thing with oxygen, we know that hydrogen is an element in the periodic table. Okay, uh, hydrogen is, oxygen is. Okay, but in terms of a, a formula, we have to treat it as a molecule. And the molecule of hydrogen is not just H, it's not just O. Okay, we know that both hydrogen and oxygen are diatomic molecules. Diatomic meaning two. So we are not going to write down H plus O. But instead, we are going to write down H2 plus O2, okay? Remember, okay, very important step that whenever we see the hydrogen molecule, whenever we see the oxygen molecule in a balanced equation or in a skeleton equation that's written in words, you will never, ever just write the H and just the O. You write it down always as H2O, as O2. So here is the, the, the equation to pr pretty much create water. We combine hydrogen and oxygen to produce water. Okay. Now, what did we put together? We put together hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen and oxygen are what we call the reactants. Okay. They're called the reactants because they're the, 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 the parts that react with one another to create some kind of a final product okay so we have our arrow here and the arrow now separates pretty much our reactants okay from our product okay now our reactants they react as we said to form some kind of a final product so whenever you see an equation keep in mind that to the left of the arrow are the reactants to the right of the arrow are our products okay so let's look at the following equation and let's try to balance the following equation or let's see if it is already balanced. So we have H2 plus O2 produces H2O. Now, step one, what you want to do is you want to separate your left side and your right side of the, the, the equation. Okay. And that's pretty much done by creating this line here down the arrow. Notice here we are separating our reactants. from our products, okay? Now, we're gonna list the elements that we find. So what elements do we have in the reactant side? What elements do we have in the product side? And notice that they are both the same. So they're both contain hydrogen, they both contain oxygen, okay? So let's look at how many hydrogens do we have on both sides? So let's look at reactant side. We have two hydrogens on the reactant side. And we have two on the product side. So far, they're balanced. They both have the same amount. So how many oxygens now do we have on the reactant side? Well, we have two oxygens. But if we look over on the product side, we notice that we only have one oxygen, which means I need to increase the amount of oxygens on that side. So how do I increase it? Well, start balancing both sides by putting a number in front of each molecule. Okay, a thing to keep in mind to look for polyatomic ions first, leave diatomic molecules for last. Okay, so we want to make sure that the reactive side, product side are both balanced, but they're not. Okay, so we want to 
eventually increase the number of oxygen. So what are we going to do? Well, we have one oxygen, but we don't want one oxygen. So how do I change the one oxygen? So what do I have to do? I have to make sure that I'm going to put my number in front of the compound. So now, by putting this two, how many oxygens do I have? I no longer have one oxygen. I have two oxygens, which means now I do not have to increase the number of oxygens on this side. But the minute I put the two in front there, I now change my hydrogen. And this is the part when I said about keeping an open mind. Don't worry. If it changes something else, it's okay. That's part of the process of balancing equations. So we put the two in there to balance our oxygen. But when we put the two in front, it changed our hydrogen. And it changed our hydrogens no longer now from two hydrogens. We now have a total of four hydrogens, which means now if we look at the reactant side, we need to increase the number of hydrogens on the reactant side. And it's as easy as, and, and what's the number? We have the number two, right? So what number should we put in front of the hydrogen? Well, if we put a two here in front of the hydrogen, we now will increase our hydrogens to a number of four, which means now we no longer need to balance the hydrogens. And now what we want to do is we want to look and compare. We have four hydrogens, four hydrogens. We have two oxygens, two oxygens. We now have a balanced equation. So the final step here, it says rewrite the new balanced equation. And the new balanced equation is 2H2 plus O2 produces two molecules of water. So in reality, to make one molecule of water, it's not enough to just combine one hydrogen, one oxygen. We are technically putting together two molecules of hydrogen combined with one molecule of oxygen. But in turn, we will be creating two molecules of water. And this is what we have pretty much now a balanced equation.